Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood episode number 14. And I really, really liked the last episode. I loved our introduction to Greed. I loved Azumi kicking his butt. Um, I don't want to say I loved Scar, but like, you know, I still find Scar very curious. Uh, the, the, the anger and rage that's within and then Master mentioning his brother and just that he knows that it's just going to be, con that it's going to be violent until the very end. And I think Scar is actually prepared for that. Um, and then we got our, our, our crew that is, uh, with Greed, I wrote down their names, Roa, who, um, and, and, and the, they are, uh, chimeras. Uh, Roa is part cow, Bido is part lizard or alligator or something. Uh, Martel is part snake and, uh, Dolcetto or Dolcetto is a dog. Um, very curious if they're going to be around for the long run or not, because um, chimeras were something that like, I immediately was just like, ah, trauma. Um, but like to see them walking and talking, and if it's true, I don't know whether or not to believe greed, uh, but he said he's a homunculus and that's, that looks to be true. Um, did get his butt kicked by Azumi. And I thought that that was but beautiful. I mean, uh, definitely, <laughs> definitely Ed warmed down a little bit, but, uh, you know, it, it, it was a phenomenal moment to watch. Um, but they were trying to get Al to tell them how to transmute a body in order to put it into an object, the soul into an object so he could be immortal. I don't know. I think I'd rather be how he is now than be like Al. Like I, I, Maybe he doesn't want to feel things. Maybe he doesn't want to be weighed down by all that stuff. I don't know. But I feel like as greed, you'd want as much of it as possible. I don't know. It just seemed weird. I don't know what we do. I mean, there there's, there has to be more chimeras. And they were saying the government was responsible for it, which I'm like, yeah, of course the government would take research from a mad scientist and implement it underground. Uh, again, I don't know if that's true. That, that, you know, I don't know what to believe when it comes to greed. But so far, he hasn't lied. So... We need to get Al, and we need to learn how to help Al figure out what he saw when he lost his body, and he saw truth, because he doesn't remember. I'm imagining that it was probably so traumatic that it's, like, blacked out for a reason. Or because it looked like um, Ed was almost getting downloaded with information, and, like, that maybe it's the truth about everything, or, you know, just, like, truth in general, I think, is just kind of a, a broad spectrum, so I'm not really sure, like, what that means, but I feel like maybe it was too much for Al to actually retain. Uh, so, curious about that. Now, Roy is headed to Central. Because I don't trust Furrer Bradley. Fuhrer Bradley. <laughs> I don't know why I have such a hard time with that word. It's just like fa va va va. Uh, and we are taking Kane Fury, Vato Fallman, Heyman's Breda, Gene Havoc, and Reza Hawkeye. And poor Gene had to break up with his girlfriend. <laughs> it's not funny, but it, it kind of is just the way that it played out. Um, yeah, he's assembling an Avengers squad and they are heading to Central. And, uh, you know... Not that I'm, like, infiltrate and take over, but, like, you know, I'd rather have Roy in charge than uh, Bradley because Bradley is dark. There is a dark past there. There is a dark history there, especially him commanding the alchemists to, you know, not just the alchemists, but the in the entire army, like, to kill the Ishvalans. And, you know, it seems like he might have freed um kimberly i'm not quite sure but kimberly is responsible for scar scar and for killing a lot of people in his village so if you know we lost kimberly i wouldn't cry but i feel like that's going to be an amazing fight on screen uh whenever we get to see it i'm also like seeing greed kind of do what greed does i i don't think he's necessarily going to be on our team especially with the ouroboros tattoo but i want to find out what happened what was the you know falling out that he had 
with uh, the rest of the squad. And I'm sure it's because he was greedy. And I'm sure they were like, mm, you're not good to have around. But, you know, we still have to kind of figure out how to get Al to remember the truth. And then we know that the boy's father knows about the Philosopher's Stone. And I don't even want to know. It just occurred to me that it's possible he could have traded his wife's soul for a Philosopher's Stone. He would have had to been around for that, right? Because, like, it shows him, like, doing, like, alchemy on her. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I, I, I don't even know what I just thought of and if it's even possible. But I'm not going to speculate. I'm going to get into the episode. I'm super excited because... I just want to see Azumi do more. I could watch an entire series about her. She is dope. And as y'all know, if you've watched my channel for a long time, when I say something's dope, highest of praise. Highest of praise. All right, guys. <laughs> still a little wacky, still a little goofy, uh, but that's what makes me me. So let's get into it. At least I remembered that this time instead of like, what do I normally do? How does that go? I don't understand. <laughs> uh. <sighs> what was I doing? Earbuds. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so ready. Central. What's up, Roy? Whoa, falling just as fast. Screw you guys. I am so Team Roy now. Oh, I wasn't sure. Definitely, 100%. I'm terribly sorry, but your transfer was poorly timed. His Excellency the Fuhrer is away. Oh, imagine that. Where is he? Conducting an inspection at Southern HQ. He's in the South? Which is where Ed and Al are. <laughs> Something doesn't smell right to me. Oh yeah, he's a dog. You know okay. what it feels like to me? Old times. Oh, okay, what does that mean? What an interesting discovery for such a routine inspection. Hmm. Move in! Those who lurk underground. Wow, I did not expect that! I'll just be on my way now. What? You coward! Oh! Teacher! What's wrong? Oh, he's gonna come out to Bradley, though, isn't he? She, she might need a minute. Just hang on! Oh, come on now! Point a gun at Ed. Yeah, things have gotten a little out of hand, so we need to figure a way out of here. I can't let you do that. Mm. Huh? Just what do you want, old man? It's oh. the Fuhrer! Why is he here? Oh my god, look at how ripped he is. I've got an idea. Retire! <gasps> oh, whoa. Well, look at this. The old man's got some moves. Okay, is he going to grow back? Can he put his shield up? Wow. Wow. Hey, Armstrong. Beast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have just had the rare pleasure of witnessing the famous Armstrong statuary technique. Passed down from generations. I guess my ordinary methods aren't gonna work. Yeah, you're gonna have to fight a cow. Oh, or a bull. Now that's certainly peculiar. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. Lots we of chimeras. Can we not woman. shoot now eliminate everybody? Every last one of these freaks. Those are the Fuhrer's direct orders. The, did they need to be killed? Come on, Armstrong. I don't like the feeling of feeling I'm on the wrong side of things. The last time I saw you in action was the Ishbalan Civil War. Um. A former ally, eh? No need for such bloodshed. Surrender. Bradley's I just gonna let have myself be killed. be killed. Yeah. Major. 
Jeez. Jeez. This is amazing. Oh, oh Bradley's high patch came off. <gasps> I knew it! I may not have the protection of your ultimate shield, but I clearly see your weakness with my ultimate eye. Ouroboros tattoo on his eyeball. That's what he was hiding. I would not have guessed that in a million years. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be Bradley. <gasps> no, great! Oh. Quiet! Let me out! That makes 15 times you've died now. How many lives have you got left? Hmm? Oh, damn you. Oh, crap. I kind of wish we'd die back there. There's still plenty of time to tuck your tail and run away. Oh, I like these people. I mean, in a weird way. Do us a favor, kid, and get her out of here. Protect her. Dolcetto! Oh, I like Dolcetto! Hey! Quit trying to stop me! Let me- Al, just go! They need my help, damn it! I said no! I can't let you out! Just shut up! Let me out of here! You're not gonna make me- Oh my god! You grow more pathetic by the second! Wow. Now you stay put. I'll be right back. What is that? We gotta run. You should have already gotten up. <laughs> Mortal! Don't do this! Full Metal Alchemist. Bye, Mortal. Bradley's gonna stab right through that. Die, Bradley! Oh no. Will that do something to his blood rune? Oh, did it make him remember? Oh, Al! Oh, you poor baby. Mom, wait, Mom, wait! Mom! Mom! Ah! What did I just watch? You're covered in blood! <gasps> yeah. Did they get her out? We thought it best to open you and remove her before you awoke. Oh, I just realized that was it was tore open. Did you happen to trade any manner of information with him? None at all. And the military wasn't even mentioned, not once. That isn't my concern. Mm. Let me be more specific. If you arranged a deal or shared any knowledge with him, then I'll execute both of you right now. Yep. That's the guy I thought he was. I am curious about your steel arm and leg and your brother's armor body. Is there any connection between the two? <laughs> you already know the truth. <laughs> you really are an honest kid. Huh? All right, men, pull out. That was uncomfortable. But what about you? I'm sure you could use a little extra protection. Hmm. You mean as a state alchemist? Why, yes, exactly. Oh, boy. No, no, no. You can't be serious. Is the country really in so much trouble that you'd need the help of someone like me? <laughs> There's no need to be harsh. She can see right through him. Well, I will be back. I'll keep my fingers crossed that when I do return, perhaps you'll have had a change of heart. That sounds like a threat. Exactly, Izumi. Remember the guys I told you and Colonel Hughes about? <clears throat> Colonel Hughes, I... Uh oh. Oh, God. Listen, Edward uh, uh, If you're gonna learn this... Do not do anything rash. Oh, Armstrong knows. Sure. 
Well then, good night. Oh. He wasn't going to tell him. They're back. All the memories of when my body was taken away, I remember. <laughs> What'd you see? Well, it was definitely weird. <laughs> definitely but unfortunately, weird. unfortunately, I didn't find out anything about how to get our bodies back. That's okay. You remember what the Fuhrer told us back in Central? Well, greed yep. was obviously connected to them somehow. But if so, why'd the Fuhrer slaughter everyone? Why didn't he catch them and make them talk? It also seems a little weird that the Fuhrer himself would lead an attack against such a small group. Smart boys. Sure Smart does. boys. No matter how you look at it, none of this adds up. He's trying to keep them quiet. We've been warned, but we need to get closer. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't want you to, I fear for you, but at the same time, yes! <sighs> it seems both Full Metal's younger brother and their teacher are worthy candidates for human sacrifice. Oh, and one other thing. I made an unexpected catch. Well, well, the gang's all here. Everyone? And where is Sloth the indolent these days? Oh, I want to meet Sloth. Sure he'd love to be here slacking off, but we have to keep him working. Ah, uh, doing what? So, who's the new addition? I am Wrath the Furious. Fuhrer King Bradley and Wrath. One in the same. Wrath. Call me that again and I will destroy you. Stop your nonsense, both of you. Father! Father! Who's father? Greed. You are both my son and you are a piece of my soul. <gasps> so why would you betray your loving father? Oh, I did not put that together. I'm so, I might have just put like something together and or I might have been wrong, but is that Hohenheim? Is that the boy's dad? Jeez. Talk about cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> nice and hot, just like the flames in hell. I'll send you a postcard, let you know what they're like. And when the rest of you get there, I'll be waiting for you! Oh my god, the voice acting right there. Just don't blame me when I give you a stomachache! You did it to yourself! <laughs> I don't even know what I'm watching. This show... Philosopher's Stone. Like, is that how? I mean, don't answer. Well, God, I. Hohenheim, right? It's the boy's dad? Father! Welcome home, Father! I'm so glad you're back! He's got a kid? Oh, that's right. He did mention that. You saw the little alchemist? Can I meet him sometime, Father? And if he can learn alchemy at his age, then maybe I can too! Why would you want to learn something like that? So I can get my state license, of course, and then I can wow. help father. <laughs> you never know, Celine. Maybe you will help me out someday. As a sacrifice? That left me feeling so uneasy. I knew not to trust Bradley. I knew it! <laughs> I was like, that eye patch is hiding something. I thought it was like a laser eye. I don't know what I actually thought what what it was hiding. Maybe I thought he had a philosopher stone under there. I think maybe that's what I said in the beginning. Worse! An Ouroboros tattoo. He's wrath. Which I would say makes sense, but it doesn't. But it does. Hmm. So the idea that, that all these sins have been created I don't... Okay. Greed said, I hope I give you a stomach ache. So <laughs> this is this is gonna be the stupidest thing I've said today. So he drinks the philosopher's stone. Does he sh greed? <laughs> Does he throw it up? What? Like, is it a kidney stone and it comes out and it just poop and he goes, ha ha ha. Like, I don't <laughs> I don't know, but then I like saw like the like the the thin hairs in front of him, and I'm like is he Hohenheim? And maybe I made that up. Maybe that's not true. 
That would be amazing if, not amazing, I mean, amazing, uh, it would be amazing if this entire time they were sent out to see whether or not Edward and Alphonse would almost make good philosopher stones. And if that was Hohenheim's entire, because obviously Bradley can pretend to have a family. I mean, he, he's not pretending he has a family, but, like, pretending to be a kind, good man with the idea that, like, maybe at some point he can sacrifice his child for power. I don't know if that's a thing. I don't know. I don't know what I just watched. All I know is I'm really devastated um, about the idea that all the chimeras were killed and that Bradley got rid of them. Maybe they see them as abominations. Um, or it's to protect the military somehow. Because if they found out the military was doing experiments like that, like chimeras, definitely that wouldn't be good. And then he said something about, like, like if you made a deal with him, then I will have to execute you. And they didn't. But, like, that's the first time we've ever heard Bradley, like, really, like, point blank threaten the boys. Like, he's threatened him them subtly, and it was just like... Like, don't look into this any further. And he, he got really dark and they changed the music. And I'm having a, a hard time because I absolutely love Armstrong and I feel like I'm cheering for the wrong team. I feel like I'm cheering for the Empire. And, like, the Chimeras were, like, part of the Rebellion. What an adequate shirt to be wearing today, right? I, I feel like I'm on the wrong side. I actually am on the wrong side because I'm behind Roy, who is... Definitely seeing through Bradley's bullshit. But that means Armstrong's on the wrong side. And Armstrong saying, you know, don't do anything rash to, to Ed because he doesn't know about Hughes. And then didn't tell him. And then Bradley offering Azumi a position as a state alchemist. Of course he'd want to weaponize her. She can also do transmutation without a circle. She is a matrix, so of course he would want her to be sacrificed. What is the connection with Scar? Did they... Oh my gosh. Did they sacrifice Ishvalans to make Philosopher's Stones? Is that a thing? And like, some of them don't even know? I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm making up stories. I'm getting myself all worked up, but that's all I can think of. Oh my God, I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> I don't like Nazis. I just, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I would say I don't know anybody who would say that. I, I, I personally don't know anybody who would say that, but, um, that they like Nazis. Um, but like, just like, just, oh my gosh. I think, I think I'm making up things in my head right now. I'm making up storylines that don't exist, but I fear that they do. Um, one thing with this show is that sometimes it is predictable and then there's other times I could never see anything coming. And like Bradley, from the first moment we saw him, I was like, ooh, he's sus. Um, and I knew it right away, but I also didn't trust Roy and now I trust Roy implicitly and I want him to burn this shit to the ground and he can. Um, he needs to be able to figure out how to use his spark when it's wet outside um, he needs to be able to fight in the rain because I feel like that would end up being Roy's downfall. Um, oh, I'm making up a whole bunch of shit now. Like, Bradley is an amazing fighter, what he can do with swords and how he was taking down, uh, Greed and, like, I was just like, whoa! I was like, and, like, why are they here? And, like, why do they want to kill? Like, the Chimeras, I think, are, like, cover-up, um, definitely... You know, they were all very upset to see Bradley. I think that um, they're kind of like, like where there's some people that are like, oh, hail leader. And like, there's other people like that are just kind of like, the hell's wrong with you guys? <laughs> like, <laughs> can you not see the problem with the scenario? And I feel like they're those people. And because they had to hide themselves, that they had to be underground, that, you know, it, it's even worse. And I... That sucks. I wanted more of them. It's not like I was like, oh, they're so dope and I'm attached to them. But I was like, I wanted to learn more about them. I thought Dolcetto was going to be like amazing. Um, the fight we got with uh, Roa and Armstrong 
was dope. I was I was really hoping for more. I cannot. They did Mardell dirty. Mardell, is it Mardell or? I wanted to say Martell, but I think it's Mar. Martel, Martel. I think I'm. Different syllable on a different emphasis, um. But like I, I wanted Elle to get up and run away with her. But I mean, to be honest, I knew Bradley probably would just throw a sword and kill her through the armor anyway. Um, I'm not surprised by that whatsoever. But oh boy, was that graphic! Wow, Bradley just like fighting and the patch coming off, and then seeing the Ouroboros tattoo on his eyeball was just fucking nuts. Fucking nuts. The last episode was so much fun and I was so excited and I was like, this is such a good time. And this one was just kind of like, oh, you like that? I'm going to kick your puppy. I feel like somebody kicked my puppy. Somebody killed my puppy. Oh, Dolcetto. He was a good loyal boy. God, that was, that was brutal. That was brutal. I'm, I'm not, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of watching them kill the, uh, the chimeras. Not a fan. And, you know, the fact that Azumi was just like, oh, you know, a sick housewife, what would you possibly need with me? And him saying, when I come back here, hopefully you'll have something different to say. And she saw that threat. She saw that threat immediately. Oh, she had him clocked. Like, she wasn't being sweet to him just because he was being nice to her. She was reading him. Oh, my God. She knows there's something wrong with Bradley. And now the boys do. Now the boys have seen something that they didn't expect from him. And, uh, and, and Al has his memories back, even though he can't like help anything to like get like his body back, but like at least kind of knowing the experience that Ed went through is good. And, and I think working on stuff maybe might help him remember some other things along the way. I feel like, uh, it's like having a complete download. There's too much to sift through. So on occasion, like he might have like a, a glance or a remembrance of something. And I feel like him having memories is good. I feel like him having memories of what happened is good because even though it's not his body, it's a portion of who he used to be. So then it's like an ingredient that we didn't have before that we have now. And I'm, I'm happy for him. Oh my God. I want to keep watching, but I can't. So guys, if you want to watch the full length reaction to this episode, it will be available on my Patreon and up to two episodes early. But in the meantime, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. What'd you think about Bradley being Wrath? Um, makes total sense. Like, makes total sense. Like, he doesn't get angry like you would think Wrath would be. But when he is fighting, you see rage. You see rage in his eyes. O-M-G. And, and I firmly like love Armstrong, but I'm kind of seeing that we're on the wrong side of this. I, I, I kind of see it coming for a while now, especially with like when they were okay with Tucker doing his research and kind of just being like, yeah, like, you know, sometimes that stuff like you're going to see more of that or it has to be done. And he did see it. He saw more chimeras, you know, like they were just kind of like, me, <laughs> you know, uh, uh yeah wow what an episode what an episode man i can't wait to watch more it's just every episode blows me away where i'm just like oh like what are we gonna learn this time like what cute person are we gonna learn wow we got some shit in the past two episodes this was so good uh no regrets watching this today i'm glad that i had enough energy when i got home from work to actually sit down do hair and makeup, but also watch this and like really like just absorb it. Like I feel like I got like so much information in the, the these two episodes. I feel like I had questions answered, but I also feel like there was so many more questions. Like, was that Hohenheim? Uh, you know, is that who father is? Because the boys call him father. They call him father, except Greed called him dad. Uh, I'm... What did he do to their mother? Okay. I need to stop. I'm, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm asking questions that I don't want people to answer in the comments because I'm freaking out, man. Uh, there's, there's so many things that are going through my head right now. There's just so many like things that are trying to connect to each other. And they're like, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Al, where I'm just like, like, like anxious. And I'm just like, like, whoa. 
Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to ponder these episodes because these were amazing. This show is amazing. Thank you so much for recommending it. Oh my God, I could not... I would never have come across this show if I never started my channel and I never had people and subscribers like you guys like recommending this stuff and getting excited for it and watching it. Head over to Patreon. We might be up to more episodes early at some point over there. Uh, I, I I would like to get way ahead. Um, I, I am way ahead in the stuff that I've watched, but um, uh, definitely thank you so much for being here on this ride because it's amazing and I can't wait for more. So guys, come back here. And in the meantime, <laughs> I'll see ya. Woo!